Hey Woodland, I'm Isaiah. And I'm Kayla. Welcome to our first episode of Hawk Talk. Kayla, how was your summer? It was good. I went to cheer camp. How was yours? My summer was spectacular. Are you already starting a new school year? Yeah, let's hear from the principal himself about the upcoming school year. That sounds great. We'll be right back with Hawk Talk. What did you first expect when you accepted the job as principal here at Woodland? When I first accepted the job, I had 15 years of experience in a public school and 10 years was as an administrator. So I did a lot of research about Woodland and this is a place I really wanted to be after doing the research. I did get the job and since then I've been very happy. It's pretty much everything I expected, if not more. Great student body, great faculty and staff, and a great community to work in. How do you feel about being principal for the third year in a row at Woodland? Well, I'm glad I'm back. No, it's, it's a great school, and I like, with, with being the third year, for me it's kind of nice because uh, the current juniors, you know, I've seen them freshman, sophomore, junior year, whereas the seniors have had two different principals. Um, so starting next year in the fourth year, you know, we'll kind of be like, these are my guys because these are the, the crew that I've had. They've gone through it with me. Is there an improvement you feel the school needs to make? I think we can always get better. I like there's a, a quote that good is the enemy of great, and I think we're a very, very, very good school, but I want Woodland to be a great school. And in fact, uh, we're going through a process, an accreditation process. It's NEASC, New England Association of Schools and Colleges. And what they'll do is they'll give us commendations or recommendations. So they're going to tell us things that we're doing very well and also things that areas where maybe we can improve. So that would be good to get the feedback from outsiders who are visiting our school. Over the course of three years, have you seen a positive change like in your advisory or in the school? Yeah, I think one of the most important things for me is the school climate. So really the, the culture and the climate, and it's a very positive culture and climate. And I see that continue to be very positive. I know when we have visitors who've never been here before, they're always impressed, and I like getting that feedback, definitely. It's a nurturing place. I think it feels like a family atmosphere, which I like. And, um, you know, people are comfortable. Even students transfer here from other schools, and they really like it here. Do you think Woodland lives up to your definition of an ideal school environment? I would say it does. I look at it this way for me personally, and again, I've been in education for many years. I say I, I go to school. I don't go to work. Not that it's not work sometimes, and I work hard. But because of the environment and the way that Woodland is, I just feel like I'm part of the school and it's a, a very positive experience. Do you plan on running for the revolution and beating your time last year? I very much would like to. I'm not going to. It's my fifth wedding anniversary on October 10th and my wife wants to go away. So I will be in the Catskills in New York State during the run for the revolution. Uh, that being said, it's a great event. Two years ago I ran and last year I walked. Uh, we walked in honor of Jack Walsh with my advisory and that was a great experience as well. Definitely plan on being back participating next year, but you know, I think about it, I'm going to miss a great event because I know it's going to be a great, great event. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was so interesting. I can already tell it's going to be a great school year. Yeah, can't believe he's been here for three years already. He's such a fair principal. Can never go wrong with Ogren. And we'll be right back with some more Hawk Talk after this. Every Tuesday, the Acoustic Jam gathers in room 219 after school. Everyone is welcome, whether you want to show off your skill or just hang out and have some fun. I'll see you there. Welcome back to Hawk Talk. Do you remember when we were coming in as freshmen? It seems like it was yesterday. I do. It was really scary and I didn't know what to expect. People in Woodland are very approachable. If you have a question, just ask. And you can also talk in the hallway, just not too loudly. Or then you're just being disrespectful to others around you. And try your best to make new friends and accomplish your goals. To all the freshmen out there, we have a few words of wisdom for you after this clip. Woodland. Just less than a year ago, we were students here at Longver Middle School, but then we graduated. Describe your first day of high school in three words. Um, challenging, new, and eventful. Easy, 
better um, and more freedom. Challenging, different. How is high school different from middle school? Uh, there's a lot more freedom. You have a lot more freedom. You get more freedom. What's your favorite part about high school? You can walk around and listen to music. The fact that I can walk around with my earbuds in because I like music. My favorite part is the variety of electives. Looks like we're adjusting just fine. By the way, while I have you, if you go to Twitter, you can ask us questions with using hashtag Freshie, and we'll answer one on the air. Bye for now. Boo! <laughs> did I scare you? No, but you did give me an idea. What is it? The class of 2017 is having a Halloween fundraiser and is looking to you, the prospect in Beacon Falls community, to support them. When and where is this? It's at Woodland on Halloween from 11 to 1.30. October is the official Breast Cancer Awareness Month because in October of 1985, major charities established support groups. In 1993, Alexandra Penny established the pink ribbon as its national symbol. In Western countries, pink is considered a feminine color. Show your support at the Pink Games. We hope to see you there. Have a spooktacular day for the spookiest of people. And thanks for watching Hawk Talk. Have a good day, Woodland.